99% of people trying to break into tech are following a path guaranteed to fail in 2025. They're building weather apps and to-do lists that look identical to thousands of other portfolios. They're spending months in tutorial hell developing skills that AI is already replacing. And they're competing for a shrinking pool of entry-level jobs while wondering why no one calls them back. I'm about to show you the no BS roadmap that the top 1% use. The path most aren't willing to take because it's uncomfortable. It's messy. And it works. Not tomorrow, not next week, but today. Because in tech, hesitation is the same way as moving backwards. If you don't already know my story, seven years ago, I was a 30 year old English teacher for kids with zero tech experience, no direction, and definitely no future in tech. While my friends were advancing in their careers, I was still living paycheck to paycheck, wondering how I'd ever afford a house or provide the life my family deserved. I spent months thinking about learning to code without actually doing anything. Every day, I tell myself, I'll start tomorrow, or I need to research more boot camps first. That paralysis cost me thousands in potential income. When I finally took action, I made every mistake possible. I bounced between random YouTube tutorials. I started and abandoned four different courses. I built the same generic projects as everyone else. Each rejection crushed my already fragile confidence. My breakthrough came when I realized two things. First, companies don't hire people who can follow tutorials. They hire people who can solve problems. Second, the longer I waited to get proper guidance, the further behind I fell. I stopped thinking about it and found mentors who had walked the path before me. Within months, not years, I landed my first developer role. Today, I've been fortunate to have earned over $300,000 as a senior developer who's managed tech teams doing 78 figures in revenue. Here's the counterintuitive truth most people miss. Breaking into tech isn't about learning to code. It's about becoming irreplaceable in an age of AI. Let me repeat that. Your goal isn't to learn coding. It's to become irreplaceable. Everyone's arguing about which language to learn first or which bootcamp has the best placement rate. Using these decisions as excuses to delay taking real action. These are entirely the wrong questions that keep you stuck in analysis paralysis. Think about what AI does well. It follows instructions, writes basic code, and creates simple applications when given clear requirements. Sound familiar? That's exactly what most coding tutorials and bootcamps train you to do. If your only skill is following instructions to code basic applications, you're training to be replaced, not hired. What AI can't do is understand human context, make intuitive design decisions, and architect solutions to messy real-world problems. These are precisely the skills that companies are desperate for, and they're rarely taught in traditional learning paths. Every day you spend researching or thinking about it is another day the industry evolves without you. The window of opportunity isn't closing gradually. It's slamming shut with each AI breakthrough. This fundamental shift from stuck in analysis paralysis to problem solver is what separates those who will thrive in the AI age from those who will be left behind. And it's available to you right now. Let me walk you through the no BS roadmap that actually works in 2025. This isn't what most people want to hear, but it's what you need to know. And more importantly, what works now. Step one, abandon the generic project path. The single biggest mistake aspiring developers make is building the same projects as everyone else. Another weather app, another to-do list, another calculator. When a hiring manager sees these projects, they don't see your skills. They see someone who can only follow instructions. And guess what? AI follows instructions better than you ever will. Instead, choose a problem you actually care about solving. Something unique to your experience or interests. But I don't have any good ideas. I hear this excuse constantly from people using it to justify delaying their start. Here's the truth. Ideas aren't the hard part. Execution is. And you don't need a revolutionary idea. You need a problem you personally care about solving. Look at Gabe. He could have spent weeks thinking about the perfect project. Instead, he built based on problems he experienced in his insurance job. Within weeks of completion, he had multiple interviews because his project demonstrated both technical skills and domain knowledge. 
While others were still debating which tutorial to follow, Gabe was already raking in job offers. The difference? He started building today instead of thinking about it until tomorrow. Step 2. Embrace the messy learning process. The second critical mistake is learning concepts in isolation before applying them. This sequential approach, learn first, build later, seems logical, but it actually cripples your development. Instead, start building immediately and learn exactly what you need when you need it. But I don't know enough to start building. That's exactly the point. This approach forces you to develop the most valuable skill in tech, figuring things out on your own. It's like trying to learn swimming by reading books about water physics and watching Olympic competitions from the edge of the pool. You can spend months studying the perfect stroke, technique, memorizing breathing patterns, and analyzing racing dives. But jump in the water for the first time and you'll still sink. Two weeks of messy practice in the water teaches more than three months of perfect theory on dry land. The learning process is uncomfortable. That's why most people delay it, claiming they need more time to research or a better foundation. These are just sophisticated forms of procrastination. The developers who advance fastest are those who embrace discomfort today instead of postponing it to tomorrow. They know that every day spent getting ready is a day wasted not building the real skills. Step three, develop AI proof skills deliberately. Here's something no one talks about. The skills that make you hireable are rarely taught directly. Most courses focus on syntax and basic functionality, the exact things AI already does well. To become irreplaceable, you need to deliberately develop these four skills. First, architectural thinking. The ability to design systems, not just code them. This means making decisions about data structures, API design, and component relationships. Second, debugging mastery. The ability to solve unexpected problems. This is where human developers still dramatically outperform AI. Most people avoid debugging practice because it's frustrating. They tell themselves, I'll get to that later, or I just need to follow more tutorials first. This avoidance creates a critical skill gap that becomes apparent in interviews. Third, communication skills. The ability to explain technical concepts clearly. Record yourself explaining how your code works today. Are you clear, confident? Could a non-technical person understand your explanation? Don't wait until job interviews to practice this crucial skill. Fourth, business context. Understanding why you're building what you're building. For every feature you implement, ask yourself, how does this create value for users? How does it align with business objectives? This perspective elevates you from a code implementer to a true problem solver. These skills aren't developed by thinking about career transitions. They're developed through deliberate practice starting today. Step four, position yourself as a specialist, not a generalist. Most career changers try to learn a bit of everything, resulting in surface level knowledge across the board. This approach guarantees you'll compete directly with AI and thousands of other junior developers. The market is flooded with generalists who are still figuring things out. It's desperate for specialists who know exactly what they bring to the table. Step five, build your reputation before you need a job. Most people start networking only when they're ready to job hunt. This is backward and leads to the classic, I need more time to prepare before I put myself out there excuse. Start sharing your learning journey publicly from day one. Document your process, your challenges, and your solutions on LinkedIn, GitHub, or a personal blog. Now here's the hard truth most gurus won't tell you. This journey is hard. You will get stuck. You will feel like an imposter. You will have moments where you stare at your screen wondering if you're cut out for this. The difference between those who succeed and those who fail isn't intelligence or age or background. It's support and accountability. I'll figure it out on my own first, then I'll get help if I need it. This approach guarantees wasted months and accumulated frustration. The cost of delay in tech isn't just time, it's opportunity relevant and market position. This is why going it alone is the riskiest approach especially when you have financial responsibilities and limited time. The I'll think about getting help later mentality sounds fiscally responsible, but it's often the most expensive approach when you factor in opportunity costs and wasted time. Every month you delay finding the right guidance is a month of lost potential income, a month of frustration, and a month where the tech landscape evolves without you. Let me show you what happens when people stop thinking about it and start taking action. Gabe was working in insurance with no coding background, telling himself, I'll get serious about this next month for over a year. Then he finally committed to his roadmap. He 
He went from zero interviews to multiple offers from Fortune 500 companies within 90 days. He landed at American Express with a six-figure package that transformed his family's financial future. These aren't outliers or people with special advantages. They're people who face the same doubts, the same financial pressures, and the same technical challenges you're facing right now. The difference is they realize they need structured support, and more importantly, the best time to start was yesterday. Think about where you could be six months from now. While others are still debating which tutorial to follow or which bootcamp to join, you could be fielding multiple job offers, confidently explaining your custom-built application, and negotiating a salary that transforms your family's financial future. The question isn't whether this approach works. The results speak for themselves. The question is whether you'll continue delaying your success with, I need more time, excuses, or take the action that leads to the real results. The truth, I hear so many people telling themselves, I need to think about it, or it's not the best time to try this. This usually means one of two things. I'm scared of failing again, which is exactly why mentorship makes the difference. You're not alone anymore. I don't believe I can really do this which is exactly what every successful student felt before they took the leap. Every day you think about it is another day stuck in your current situation, watching others advance while you stay still. The tech industry isn't getting less competitive. AI isn't developing slower. Your financial needs aren't decreasing. Don't let this be you. If you found this valuable, leave a comment on what you'd like to see next. And if you need guidance from someone who knows how to break into tech today, feel free to check out the link in the description. If I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.